Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. Let's take a look around. Let's see what's going on here. There you are. Get in there. Say, John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. <laughs> they didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> the doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. Don't let them hang me. Fuck. Fuck. Please, man. Okay, wait.
St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Alright, if you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt, one of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Um, okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. <laughs> You little shit! Oh, Jesus! Fucking Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain. Uh, 
pissed all over my bike. Uh, the colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Uh. Come on, help me! Come on! Come on. <laughs> so much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well... I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! But you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight in a war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. Do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe 
in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are you ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Uh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. <laughs> All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Sounds like we just like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever. Space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Repeat. A few times. More horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. It occurred, and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow him. <laughs> we did it. You did it. Uh, we did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, the way you were one step ahead of him. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. <sighs> the colonel's right. 
Maybe we can win this war. Hey! How'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell yeah, it worked. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The officer's mess. <laughs> All right, looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Those orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. At ease, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John. Captain Curry, come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the... Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John. Come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No. Oh. Colder cave down that way. Yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's. Dancing. Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Uh, sir, I was... You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was the soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. 
I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Never gonna leave me alone if I don't burn out their nests anymore. Okay, just a few more. I gotta find more. I smell it. <clears throat> gotta be getting close. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. What do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating, some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. Well, Brian, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. 
In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would say John out. You didn't even see it coming. O'Brien, oh, uh, yeah, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families managed to get them? Yeah. That doesn't look good. Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right, pal? Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot! Where's Seth? He's down! Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no! Well, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. Are you telling me that a freak did all of this? Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Oh. I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Go. 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 So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Talk to me. The guys at the lab named it the Reacher. Reacher? What? He's got long arms, claws, what? No, it's just... The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! Jesus. Oh. I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You gotta be kidding me! these guys off. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Four men died for this shit. But who was worth it? Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what listen it takes to survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Deke, you know how it goes, shoot his tires! Shoot his tires! I won't let him get away. Got him! Oh, goddamn! How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchist. Colonel, I've got oh, him man. transmitting the coordinates. Figures. How the hell am I gonna get through that? It's gotta be done on that football field. Here they are. It's gotta be it. <laughs> I 
feels. Yes. Here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. How'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need? Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. It's no accident. They bring word of more camps, like the one to the south which we have purged, right. camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. They are part of God's punishment. Yes. Preach, Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. It is our fellow man. Right on. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. Yes, we have. To save all the knowledge. Yeah. So when the, the flood waters recede, mm -hmm. we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we built some. But in this no. age, here at the end of the world, mm -hmm. God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No, there won't. No. He's right. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth to baptize the world right. with fire! <laughs> Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse... Brian, this is St. John, come in. I'm here. From the Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Find the enclaves of the degenerate Done. and destroy them. Hell yeah. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and militia camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. I'll Brian out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where? Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, right. I'll do it. Okay. 
gotta get to Sarah. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. You're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards hey, everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone. Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, Ob no, come on, I need Shit, to Weaver! No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister, right there! I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean... God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard! Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to what? me? What? What? Let's do. Gotta work. Well done. Come on. We're almost there. Distract him. Your family left these days, you know? Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? What was you see the... What? Nice job. Okay, yeah. We make a good team. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. We made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is oh, O'Brien? He'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh... Oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, Gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! What the, what the oh, fuck? Fuck? Wait, 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 wait stay back! Oh.
Matt, I was just Freeze, trying to tell you Don't that listen we were to going her. on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over I told me? You, about? you know I am not. like the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you. He is a spy. Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere, lying. and you're gonna believe what, what's him? What's that you camp you're saying I'm from? You think Lost I'm lying? What the is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog, chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <laughs> You wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you, Deacon St. John? He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names of the and throw yourself in line! He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Out of it. And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! <laughs> I expect this from Drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer- Colonel! It was me! Ugh. It was me. Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait. Who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. Sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial and he will hang. Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know. Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Ah. Uh.
Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hasn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <clears throat> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. Huh. Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. 